here's a quick tutorial on how to glitter your tumblers with the epoxy method. I'm using 10 millimeters, milliliters of epoxy on each tumbler. You use a gloved hand, it should be the nitrile gloves, to spread the epoxy. Some people use a rubber spatula. I prefer my hand because I can feel a spot that does not have the epoxy because your finger won't glide over that spot as easily. This particular style of tumbler that I'm doing here has a silver rim at the base that I wanted to keep silver. So I have taped that off with electrical tape, which I've found is the easiest to work with. After you have the coverage that you need, I use a piece of craft paper folded in half to catch the excess glitter and I just dump it on. In this case, the cup is all one color, so there's no ombre or anything. This is the simplest way and I recommend the first way that you should try. Also it is fine glitter which is easier to work with. The smaller cup you see in the video here, I will apply chunky glitter just so I can show you some tips on that too. The epoxy takes about six hours to set um, with the epoxy method for the glitter. So you will do this, let it spin for about six hours, and then you will coat it with another 10 to 20 milliliters of epoxy. actually using two different colors of chunky glitter here, although they do look the same on camera. One is the green with the gold and the other one is goldish bronze with the green. I have a different sheet of paper for each glitter color so they don't contaminate each other. I just keep them folded and tucked away until I need them. But you can use one paper and just brush all the glitter off of it when you're done. When using a chunky glitter, if it does not have a fine glitter mixed into it, I do like to put a fine glitter in a coordinating color over the cup just to blend it in a little better. The fine glitters I'm using in these videos do come from Glitter Chimp. I do not remember the name of this one. Let me check. This one that I'm using here is Honey, and the white that I'm using is Mother of Pearl, both from Glitter Chimp. I found these little pink finger covers at the Dollar Tree, and I use these to pat down the glitter because you don't want them to stand up. You can also use wax paper wrap it around your cup and press but I just like to press them down with this little silicone thing that you can reuse okay so they've been spinning now for 45 minutes and that is the time for you to pull tape if you have any areas taped off you will have to put new tape on to do the next layer of epoxy here I'm using acetone out of a little pump bottle that I found at the Dollar Tree and a Q-tip to just get any epoxy that might have seeped underneath the tape. Okay, so now this cup is retaped, and I put epoxy on it. They spun for six hours. 
to be done, but I pulled the tape 45 minutes into each time you do the epoxy. And once again, you use the acetone to make sure there is not epoxy on the silver part of the cup if you choose to leave that. You will add another layer of epoxy if it is not smooth. You also may sand in between the layers of epoxy. A good way to avoid sanding is after you have your epoxy mixed, let it sit until it starts to get a little bit warm because the coverage will work a lot better on the chunky glitters and it'll definitely work on the fine glitters. So you don't have to keep applying more epoxy thin layer by thin layer. After you're done with that, then your cup is ready for decals or whatever design you're putting on it. And then you will do another coat of epoxy to seal any decals that you do put on the cup.